a very narrow victory for the Wildcats who hang on to beat IUPUI 63-61. Alongside Jeff Eisenband, I'm Cameron Songer. And Jeff, this was really a close game, hard fought between these two teams. Yeah, I don't think if you told Northwestern before the game that they would need an off-balance jump shot from Jershon Cobb at the top of the key to win with two seconds left, I don't think they would have told you that at the beginning of the game. Let's take a look at those highlights. As this was a very physical and chippy game from the start. As you take a look at a double technical here between Sanjay Lumpkin and Mitch Patton. Yeah, there was it was chippy all around. Fouls were committed. Both teams were in the penalty in the second half. There you see Jershon Cobb rolling over a defender. And it was Mitch Patton getting things done from the post for IUPUI. For Patton, he finished with 18 points and six rebounds to go along with four assists. Alex Ola on the other end was spinning. Both teams showed a lot of offense in the second half. That's Kale Abrahamson, who had an early first half tray. Yeah, Northwestern really had some struggles in the first half. It was their key players who really weren't getting it done. Drew Crawford shut out in the first half. They relied on contributions from guys like Nate Taphorn. Sanjay Lumpkin actually led the team with eight in the first half as Ola got some work done on the offensive glass. Yeah, you saw Ola there with some with a power move. Coach Collins wasn't happy with his team, especially the play of Drew Crawford in the first half, but that changed in the second half. The Cats trailed by three to start the second half, and Drew Crawford put it on himself to take over. He ended up with 12 points and 10 rebounds and four assists as well, but Mitch Patton continued to do good things for IUPUI. He had 18, second only to Ian Childs, who led all scorers with 19. You know, we heard it from Drew Crawford after the game. Coach Collins told Northwestern in the locker room they were getting outplayed. You saw a little of the full court press from Northwestern in the second half. You saw Drew Crawford's dunks there. Northwestern came out with more energy and was able to get the job done. It came down to the last seconds where Jershon Cobb took the last shot in a tie game with 2.3 seconds left. IUPUI got a late timeout. They had an opportunity to win it with this half-court Hail Mary, and they couldn't get it to roll through. Northwestern hangs on for a 63-61 win. As we take a look at the final stats in this one, IUPUI shot the ball very well, turned the ball over just a little bit. How about just those eight turnovers, though, by the Wildcats? Yeah, not enough. And Northwestern, a way to start the Continental Tires Las Vegas Invitational. You see, not a great shooting performance, only 41.4%. But at the end of the day, it's a victory for Northwestern. It wasn't very pretty, but it counts. A win is a win, and the Wildcats improved to 3-2 and two in the Chris Collins era. They are back in action on Monday night against Gardner-Webb.